sphere hammer transition. In this video, we are going to see two terms which are related to algebraic expressions. And also, we are going to identify the coefficients of each term from the given expression. And we are going to classify the various types of polynomials in the given expression. Explain the terms. The first one is expression. So, check the expression 4x plus 5. So, this expression is made up of two terms 4x and 5. So, the terms are added to the expression. So, 4x is one term and 5 is one term. So, two terms are added to form an expression. Okay, it may be added or it may be subtracted, may be multiplied or may be divided. So, two terms are related with any algebraic operation, then we will call it as expression. Factors. The terms themselves can be formed as a product of factors. So, the term 4x is the product of its factor 4 and x. Okay, the term 5 is made up of just one factor, that's 5. Okay, if it is 4x, then we will call it as a 4x as a factor. If it is 5, then 5 into 1. So, 5 is a factor of 1. Okay, the next is coefficient. So, the expression 7x1 minus 5x has two terms, right? So, we can call this as an expression. It has two terms, then we will call it as an expression. Two or more terms. So, here... 7xy is one term, 5x is one term, it's related by an algebraic operation minus, okay? So, you will call this as an expression. So, here, this 7, okay, it's a xy, it is a product of 7x and y. So, the numerical factor of a term is called numerical coefficient or simply coefficient, okay? So, 7xy means 7x and y are products, okay? And the numerical term before this product is called as coefficient or numerical coefficient. So, coefficient in the term xy is 7 and coefficient in the term negative 5x, that is minus 5x is minus 5. The next term is monomial. Monomial, okay. So, the expression that contains only one term is called as monomial. Okay, so the examples of 4x square, 3xy, minus 7z, 5xy square, 10y, minus 9, 82n, n2. So, these are called as monomials, okay, monomials. Because it's not separated by any plus or minus. So, it is only one term. So, you will call it as monomial. Okay, so now next one is binomial. The expression that contains two terms is called as binomial. See so examples A plus B. So here A is one term, B is one term. So two terms. So we call it as binomial. So similarly 4L plus 5N. So here two terms, so it is binomial. A plus 4, it is a binomial. 5 minus 3XY, then it is a binomial. Then Z square minus 4Y square. It is also a two term expression, so it is a binomial. The next one is trinomial. An expression that contains three terms is called as trinomial. Okay, we know that tri is three. So, if an expression contains three terms, then it is trinomial. See the examples A plus B plus C. So, three terms. So, it is a trinomial. Then 2x plus 3y minus 3. So, there are also three terms. So, it is also a trinomial. Then x square y minus x y square plus y square. So, it is also three terms. x square y is one term, x y square is one term, and y square is one term. So, three terms. So, we call it as trinomial. So, an expression that contains three terms, we will call it as trinomial. The next one is polynomial. In general, an expression containing one or more terms with non-zero coefficient, with variables having non-negative exponents, is called polynomial. Okay, a polynomial contains any number of terms, one or more terms. So normally, we will give a general term as polynomial. It is one term monomial, it is two term binomial, three term trinomial. More than three, generally we will call it as polynomial. Okay, so examples A plus B plus C plus D is a polynomial because it has more than three terms. One, it is monomial, two binomial. 3 we will call it as trinomial. So, in general, more than 3 we will call it as polynomial. Okay. So, in the same way, 
seven x y minus ten. Also, we can call it as polynomial. Okay, then two x plus three y plus three seven is a also we can call it as polynomial. Generally, an expression that has more than one term we will call it as polynomial. Specifically, we will call two term as binomial, and expression with three terms we will call it as trinomial. Let's go through this. Identify the coefficient of each term in the expression. X square by x two minus ten x square by plus five x by two minus twenty. See here, this is one term. Then this is next term. This is another term, and this is one term. So totally we have four terms. Okay. So the coefficient means we know that the number before each variable we will call it as coefficient. Okay. The number before each term of the variable we will call it as coefficient. So here it is one, right? So no number we can take it as one. So x square by x square coefficient of x square by x square is one. Okay. The number before the variables. So here the coefficient of minus ten x square by x square is okay. So we can take this as negative ten. Okay. Then the coefficient of ten is five x by x square. So here the number before this variable is five. So five is the coefficient. Next, that's the coefficient minus twenty. So this is one term. Here it's minus twenty. Here we don't have any variables, just number. So we we'll call this term as a constant. It doesn't have any variables, so there is no coefficient. So we we'll call this term as a constant term. Next example is classify the following polynomials as monomials, binomials, polynomials. So the given polynomials are minus y plus five. So here we have two terms. This minus that is one term, five is one term. So two term means we will call that is a binomial. And the next one is x plus y plus z. So here x is one term, y is one term, z is one term. So one, two, three terms. So it is a trinomial. The next is y plus z plus hundred. So one, two, three terms. So this is also a trinomial. The next is a b minus a c. So here a b is one term, a c is another term. So here we will have two terms. So it is a binomial. Then seventeen. So we have only one term that is a constant. So we will call it as binomial. Even though it doesn't have any variables, it is one term. So we will call it as a binomial. Next example is construct three binomials with only x as a variable. So it should have Two terms, but only x as a variable. So here, x plus five. So we have only x. Then two x minus two. Then eight x minus four. So two terms, which has only x as a variable. Then three binomials with x and y as a variable. So three x plus two. The binomial means two terms. So here, x and y as a variable. Three x plus two. Five x minus six y. Then x plus y. The next example is three monomials with x and y as a variables. Okay, three monomials. Monomial means it should have only one term, but that term should contain x and y as a variable. So it may be written like this: x y, two x y minus five x y. So it's one term which has both x and y as a variable. The next one is two polynomials. It's four or more terms. So the polynomial means it should contain four or more terms. So example two x plus three y plus four z plus g. Then the example is x to the power four plus two x cube plus three x square plus five x plus seven. So these are the examples of polynomial. Hope you have understood the different terms in the algebraic expression and how to identify those terms. The expression is given. Thank you for watching the video.